Hey everyone, we are here today in El Dorado Hills on Town Center at Face in the Book. We are interviewing and getting to know Tina Ferguson, the owner. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. So we wanted to reach out to you and get a feel for the, uh, the business that you have grown. So tell me, what made you decide to open this business? Well, my girls were both getting um, older and they're getting ready to graduate from high school and I was wondering what's my next phase gonna be looking like for me. I always wanted to do something in the community but didn't quite know what that would be. I thought maybe coffee shop, maybe food truck, but then Borders in Folsom was closing and I realized that we had no local bookstore for anyone here within 25 miles. And so I thought perhaps a community neighborhood bookstore would be just what we needed. That's great, yes, and it is, and I'm sure you know that now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So how long How long have you been in business? So we opened in April of 2012, so we've been here for six and a half years. And what made you decide uh, El Dorado Hills was the spot? Um, I grew up in El Dorado County, so I actually am, uh, went to elementary school through high school here uh, way back when, <laughs> and I just knew that I wanted to work where I live. I love the community that I live in. I love the people that I've gotten to know, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to stay put. Yes. And it's really nice having just a five minute commute. Oh gosh, absolutely. So I did a little reading myself mm -hmm. and um, you have a lot of events. You have book clubs, there are ch children's story time, you have author signings. Give mm -hmm. us a feel for that. Well, a bookstore just doesn't exist um, in and of itself. It exists you know, for the community um, and it's within the community. So we try to bring our community in as much as we can. So we do have six different book clubs ranging from uh, like a middle grade, like third through sixth grade book club. We've got a book club specifically for young adults in high school. And then we have several adult book clubs as well. And they meet all different times of day and different days of the week. And it just gives people an opportunity to have a space that they don't have to get ready themselves, that they can come and discuss books in a really fun um, atmosphere. We do have children's story time twice a week. Um, I always loved doing that when my kids were in preschool and Miss Teresa does a great job with our little <laughs> preschoolers and it's so much fun to listen to them sing and have books read to them. And then we do work with local authors as well as authors uh, from around the country to come and share what they're doing as well. We've had a best-selling author Jeff Kinney here. We've had a best-selling author of you know for adults. We've had a Sus uh, Susan Randell here. So we've had lots of different opportunities, and it's all because we want to bring those authors and those opportunities to our community so that we don't have to look elsewhere. Yes, very nice. Yes. So, um, oh shoot, I was going to ask you one more question. Hmm. Well. I think you'll have to stay tuned for the other interview, uh, which will be posted on our website at parkbench.com forward slash uh, El Dorado Hills. And uh, we want to thank you so much for thank allowing you. us to come into this wonderful place. It's, it's a nice gathering place uh, and uh, we're very lucky to have you here in our community. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to be here.